Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add custom events and custom dimensions and metrics to your Google Analytics 4 account using Google Tag Manager if you're using a third party integration for your main Google Analytics 4 integration. So if you're a Shopify store, if you're using Shopify's built in integration, if you're using our slide roll analytics app, if you're using another app like little data or something else or fueled, uh, or if you're using, if you're hard coding Google Analytics 4 on your site uh, and you still want to use Google Tag Manager to add additional events or uh, dimensions or metrics, uh, this is how uh, you can do it without duplicating page views. Okay, let's jump in. All right, uh, so uh, if you're in your Google Tag Manager account, I've got a nice simple one here. Um, this recently changed. Uh, Google just launched this Google tag. So if you're loading, uh, if you're just doing this for the first time and you're reading some documentation somewhere uh, that says, here's how you would fire a custom event uh, via Google Tag Manager for Google Analytics 4, it's going to tell you to load a Google tag like this and enter in your measurement ID. Right? I have a constant uh, for my measurement ID. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, if you've already created a configuration tag uh, in Google Analytics 4, it probably looks like this in Google Tag Manager. It probably looks like this. This is what it'll look like. Um, and again, you know, I have the same thing where I have my measurement ID as a constant here, but this is the Google Analytics 4 configuration tag. This is no longer available uh, in Google Tag Manager. So if you're start starting from scratch, you're not going to see this. Okay. Um, so how do I load this uh, either way? Uh, without firing a duplicate page view. If I just put in this tag, this Google tag or this one, and I load in the same measurement ID as I have through slide rule or Shopify's built-in integration, uh, then I'm gonna end up with uh, duplicate page views. So uh, what do I do? Um, the first thing I do is I don't, I don't load this at all. Uh, Google Analytics 4 is already loading, so I would just go ahead and delete this tag like that. All right, cool. Now, if you have your legacy one, uh, you'll notice you can't just delete the tag um, because it will tell you, it will complain. It will tell you, uh, hey, these other uh, tags are using Google Analytics 4. So if you're using the legacy one, uh, it's a little bit more complicated, not much. Uh, all you have to do is go to those events here, take this out and go, select none, manually set ID, and then you're going to enter in your measurement ID. So let me show you how I do that. Uh, I always like to, you can just directly input your measurement ID here. I never like to do that. I always like to use a variable for the measurement ID. Let me show you why. Right? Um, so the variable you're going to want to create, let me go back over to my nice clean container, is you're going to create a constant variable with measurement ID. It's going to look like this, right? So you go new uh, variable, name it, you know, GA4. Uh, I like to be consistent, measurement, measurement ID. Cool. You're going to select constant and you're going to enter in your measurement ID. It looks like that G dash something, 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 right? And you hit save. Okay, cool. When you do that, you'll end up with a measurement ID uh, variable that looks like this. You can then use that variable directly in your tags here, right? Um, so you can ignore this Google tag not found in container. That's just telling you Google Analytics is expecting that your Google Tag Manager is expecting that you're loading everything uh, from Google uh, Google Tag Manager. Of course, the point of this video is that that's not always the case. Uh, so we're loading Google Tag Manager already, so we can safely just do this. And then the rest is all the same. So I use that variable uh, GA4 measurement ID. I use that variable. I can get it by going. Uh, like this and typing in GA4 measurement ID, or I can, uh, or uh, if you prefer the UI, you can click this little button and you can select GA4 measurement ID and we'll enter it for you. Cool. And then here you go. You can enter in your uh, event name and you add whatever trigger uh, you would to Google Tag Manager for your custom event, just like you would. All right, so that's how I add a GA4 custom event. Now, how do I add custom dimensions and metrics? Well, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, I can add a user property from an event. Normally what we would do 
Uh, and if you read the documentation, what they'll tell you to do is load user properties here, uh, either in your GA4 configuration tag uh, or on your, uh, your Google tag here. And they'll say, hey, in your tag settings, uh, add a configuration parameter. You can add a settings variable actually uh, that looks like this. And you can add uh, my configuration parameter, you know, uh, you know, custom, uh, custom dimension like so. And I can put in whatever value, whatever value I want for that dimension. This is how uh, it's documented to do this. But of course, we're not using this Google tag at all. So how can I use it with custom events? The way that I do it is I go in here uh, and I just add the user property directly to this event. So I can add the user property here, right? Uh, and like so. Uh, of course, I can add any event parameters. This is no different uh, than any other, you know, if I wanted to add the link URL, right? I could do this, right? Um, all of that is uh, pretty standard for event parameters, but this is how you would add a custom dimension to the uh, user property uh, with, so what this does is it's saying, hey, I'm going to fire an event and I'm gonna load this user property. Of course, I would want to load that user property when it's available. So if there's a data layer push or something like that, um, I would add it uh, on the data layer event. That's a little beyond the scope of this video, uh, but that is how you would load custom dimensions, metrics, and events in Google Tag Manager using, uh, if you're loading Google Analytics for separately in an app or using like Shopify's built-in integration. Great, hope you find this video useful. If you want more tips with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4 and Shopify Analytics generally, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.